All right, so I was not always a skier. I definitely went from snowboarding to skiing in my 20s. And these were the boots I ended up settling on and absolutely love them. They're the Solomon Mountain Labs. These are the first editions that came out. Um, they've been absolutely amazing. Having that lightweightness to them is incredible. And the stiff flex and the simple two buckle design. I've just loved these boots so much. In this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks. First thing I like to do um, is I just roll out my little powder skirts. So they're up and out of the way. They look silly, but they're out of the way and you don't have to worry about them. Next thing I do, whether or not the boots are warm or cold, is I actually take out the liners. So take off the buckles, turn it 90 degrees so it's not gonna catch it again. And this works with any ski boot. These might be a little easier because I've done it so many times, but you pull it out and now you have the liner and the shell separate. So then what you're gonna do is I put on the liner, tie it up, however yours is, and then I stand up and voila, I learned this from Cody Townsend in a video that he made a long time ago. And it's kind of a racing skiers trick because the race ski boots are so hard to get into. This is like the only way to do it. Um, buckle it all up. Uh, one trick is that I, you just leave it as loose as you can, basically. I put it right in the walk mode. We're walking through the parking lot, obviously. And then you got a little bit of ankle mobility. And I don't do up my boots completely tight and snug until I get to the top of the first lift. <laughs> um, then once you have a full day of skiing, it's all good, really fun day. Um, time to take them off. So you can probably get your feet out, but again, to save your ankles, one of the things I'd recommend doing is just I lock on behind the knee if I'm sitting and I just, or if I'm standing, and I push off the shell. Same thing, now it's even easier to get at this stuff here. To take off your liner. It's nice to take these out to completely dry them separately from the shell. So the shell and this dry separately when you get home on your drying rack or next to your water heater, somewhere where it's really warm, make sure these things get bone dry after you ride, like immediately. And once they're dry like this, you're gonna wanna put them back in the boot. Um, this I learned from working in a lot of ski shops and rental shops. Uh, basically what you wanna do is you wanna take the liner, shove it in, and you wanna pinch right about here where your ankle bone would sit and you pinch and squish it, it's gonna easily slide in that way. If you try and just push it in, it might flex funny and weird. So that's where that pinch and push kind of gives it a little bit more structure on the spine of the uh, liner. After these are bone dry and the liner's back in, um, get the laces out of the way and make sure your buckles are done up to the loosest buckle. This just retains the shape of the plastic. Uh, this I do up just because it's out of the way and boom, that's what I do for little tricks. <laughs> yeah, cheers.